Just real quick, you know, some of you don't really, I don't know if you know our history a little bit, you know, three years ago, 2012, you know, Dr. Teague asked us to take over men's soccer and we kind of knew it was going to be a, a, a little bit of a long rebuild. Um, the great thing about being here is you've got some outstanding, you know, models to follow, you know, Coach Q and, and what he's done with softball, you know, Coach Gum and what he's done with baseball, you know, Coach Campbell has won championships you know, everywhere, you know, where he's been. And so we've got some great models to follow and it's happening for us. But it, you know, it takes a little bit of time. Our first year, uh, we had eight seniors and, you know, Josh and Charlie, all you guys that were around that first year know it was, it was a great season. Those guys were bought in and they did whatever we wanted and having seniors makes a big, Coach Campbell, is it big? You know, it makes a big difference. And so best season we'd ever had. Won a Missouri Valley Conference game, which had never been done here before. Um, best season in Division One. For, for this school. The last two years have been a remake of things, if you will. You know, we've had to, to make some changes and, and fix some things, and we've been dealing with a lot of young players. And, uh, you know, the cool thing is that it's coming. We've, we've got some, you know, I think, Mike, if you correct me if I'm wrong, last year in our recruiting, we brought in 10 freshmen. 10 freshmen. The only player we lost in a recruiting battle was to St. Louis, and they're a top 10 program in the country. So we got the players we wanted, okay? They're young. Uh, but they're fun. An interesting thing about this weekend, uh, you know, we, we did beat CBC on Friday. If any of you were there, what an unbelievable env you know, environment that was. And all of the, you know, Steve and Charlie and all these guys providing the, the sound and the, the, everything that they do to make that a great place to be. Um, you know, we lost the game Sunday. We led with 10 minutes to go and gave up two goals late. And those things are tough. We have a roster of 25 players. Okay, on that roster, we have two seniors, one of which you guys know is Jacob Campbell, who came back from the, the car accident where he had both of his ACLs torn and his leg broken. And two years later, he's back playing. You know, he's one of our two seniors, and he's our captain. Uh, of, that, of that team that played Sunday, we played 20 players on Sunday. Two of them were seniors, three of them were juniors. Six sophomores and nine freshmen played Sunday against Incarnate Word, who's a, who's a good team. So – you can see how our classes are starting to build, and, and we're fun to watch. I can't promise you when we're going to win, right? It may be this week, may, maybe it's when it turns a corner, it may be a month from now, I don't know, but I can tell you this, we're going to win. We've got good players. You know what this school is about. You know what this athletic department's about, so it's exciting to watch that happen. I, I know that not everyone in here loves or knows much about soccer, so I'd ask you to do one of three things for us. Come to a game, if you can. If you can't or don't want to, that's fine. Think good thoughts about us. That's number two. I'm serious. That is something about this community and this sports program that is unbelievable, is the positive focus you get from, from fans that can't even make it to a game sometimes. Think good thoughts about us. And the third thing I would say is pray for us, okay, because we've got great kids here. We've got great people involved in this program. We're going to have a soccer program on the men's side that you're going to be proud of, and it's coming very, very soon. Uh, if you can come out Saturday at 7 o'clock, we're playing a very good UMKC team and, and our young guys, it would mean a lot to them. So, Steve, thank you guys. Yep.